Number 60, letter A. What is the minimum angular spread of a 633 nanometer wavelength uh, helium neon laser beam that is originally one millimeter in diameter? <clears throat> All right, so for letter A, pretend you have a little laser beam here. It's circular, well, that's a square. But um, <clears throat> it will then, when it shines, I mean, maybe we should draw that a little better. So, right, pretend we're looking at the beam from the side, okay, that it's shining now to the uh, right. So you know the light is basically going to be shining that way, but it's also then kind of, so to speak, right? Um, uh, spreading out also, right, in those particular, we can call it like Y direction, I guess. Um, obviously, if you have a flashlight here, there's going to be no light uh, right next to it, right? But you know that if you had an object over here, it would probably, the light would probably shine on it. So I think you understand this intuitively. Um, now, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to now uh, need to calculate the minimum angular spread. In other words, the theta. Okay, the angle. So we'll calculate the angle here. Now, um, we're going to assume that, uh, you know, this diameter is uh, relatively, you know, insignificant, so to speak, in relation to the uh, angle, or vice versa, actually, that the angle will be relatively insignificant to the diameter. So... Uh, all we need to do here is just simply take our angular uh, spread formula or the minimum angular resolution, and that's equal to 1.22 times then the wavelength divided by then the diameter. In this case, it's the light. Check out number 59. We also went through it there. So it's 1.22 multiplied then by the wavelength, which is going to be 633 nanometers, but let's convert that into meters. So multiply it by 10 to the minus ninth, and then divide that all by that diameter of one millimeter, but just convert it into meters so that you have all consistent units. So now it's just simply 1.22 times then 633 times 10 to the minus ninth divided by one times 10 to the minus three. So this is 7.76, 7 7.7, no, two, I'm just kidding times 10 to the minus fourth, radians, okay? <laughs> Reminds me of that Dave Matthews Band song, right? Halloween, where he's like, open it, radians, right? Kind of reminds me of that. I wish I had his vocal range. I actually wish I had any vocal range, but um, that's beside the point. But if you know the song I'm talking about, leave a comment below. So, um, great band, fantastic. Um isn't Carter Beaufort just amazing? I don't know. That's because I'm a drummer. But anyway, okay, back to the problem. Back to the problem. So, um, <clears throat> all right. So we 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 found the uh, we found that angular spread. So that's letter A. It's in radians. So letter B. Now I bet anytime somebody says, if you know the song I'm talking about, anytime somebody says radians, you're just gonna be like, yeah, radians. Okay. Um, even though he says radiant in the problem, it sounds like radiant. Anyway, all right. B. B. Get back on track. If this laser is aimed. At a mountain cliff 15 kilometers away, how big would the illuminated spot be? So basically, pretend you have like a cliff. I mean, it doesn't really make a difference. Here's the cliff, you know, whatever. And uh, you got this light here. So let's just take that and move it down. So it wants to know, you know, if the distance here is going to be uh, away from it. So let's maybe see if I can extend this. If the distance away is going to be 15 kilometers or 15 times 10 to the 3 meters, how large, you know, how big of an area now this to here, you know, if you think about it, that kind of makes sense, uh, can be illuminated, right? So basically keep in mind that the angle we just found is technically like this angle. If I were to bring those two in, right, the angle is this angle in here. So now though, what can I, what I can do, let me just move this one out. All right, what I can do now is... If this was the angle right of that whole piece, and you saw some symmetry there, I hope, right? Then if I were to now use, let's say, just this half, right? That would be then what? That would be basically now half of this angle, right? So what we can do now is use like a little Pythagorean's, well, not Pythagorean's theorem, but we can use a little trigonometry. So we're going to try to find this, let's say y, so tangent of that angle is gonna be equal to y over my distance there, right? I'll call it x. So y is gonna be equal to tangent of that angle, 7.72 times 10 to the minus fourth, multiplied then by 
uh, the x value, so 15 times 10 to the third. Now keep in mind that this is only going to be half. All right. So when you find this out, it's going to be now. Make sure you calculate it. By the way, is in rating mode. Otherwise, you're going to be well. You won't be that. You won't be that screwed. But um, you know, 7.72. So let me use that exact value. So tangent of that value. The angle that we found in the prior problem multiplied by 15 times 10 to the third. So I get about 11.58. And now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply that by 2. Okay. Uh, why are we multiplying it by 2? Well, because I want to find the total right there. And we already explained that it is half. So just simply take this then and multiply. I'll say that this is going to be 11.58. And then what we're going to do is multiply by 2 to find the total y, right? The total y then, so multiply by 2, 23 point, you know, 2, 23.2, and that is in terms of then meters, all right? So that's how big of the area, or not area, but that's how, well, yeah, I guess area because it's circular. Um, that'll be the diameter of that particular area. So that's letter B. So let us see now. It says how big a spot would be illuminated on the moon. Uh, so what we're going to do um, is basically just manipulate this, you know, thing. And instead of, it's not this distance anymore. It's just going to be the distance from to the moon. So this distance now is going to be about 3.84 times 10 to the 8 meters. That's literally all that's going to change. All right. So take that value that you found before the take the tangent of that particular angle, the 7.7226 times 10 to the minus four, remember radian mode, multiply by 3.84 times 10 to the eight, but then you're gonna have to multiply that by two, my friends. So the answer then would become 5.93 times 10 to the fifth, and that's going to be in terms of then meters. All right, that would be the answer to letter uh, C. Guys, thanks for tuning in, I hope that helped, all right? Uh, please help us out if you can by subscribing, liking, and maybe even mentioning us to your classmates. We have a bunch of other subjects out there. So if you even know someone taking pre-calculus or chemistry or organic chemistry or biochemistry or all right, a whole bunch of other stuff, we'd so appreciate it if you can send them our way. We'd love to help more people. All right. We'll see you soon. Take care.